What's going on, MetaFam? Got some updates for you in today's video. Go ahead and smash thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. First, we got to touch base on uh, a part of yesterday's video. And a huge shout out here to my buddy Lewis for sending me this information, and I wanted to clear it up. So if you saw here uh, in yesterday's video, to sum it up, uh, he was talking to Wes Christian at the Christian Levine Law Group, and he got an email back from the receptionist. And in the subject line, it said, MMTLP press release is not out yet still being advised and he replied back here to me after he saw the video and i did say i can either uh i can either confirm or deny his claim but i said that i do believe that he's telling the truth i just wanted to say i can either confirm or deny but i think if i had to do my best judgment i'm going to say this is actually true so i just want to put that out there so he says, hey, Terry, just saw your video that you posted. No reason for me to make up any stories regarding my conversation with the receptionist. Just thought it'd be some benefit. Just thought it would benefit someone else lifting their spirits like mine were. And also, hopeful we will get some great news soon. Below is the screenshot that I took of the timestamp slash call log that I made yesterday in which the receptionist slash secretary sent me the email I shared with you. Enjoy the videos and respect you for being the forefront, trying to help everyone that is involved, impacted by hashtag FINRA fraud and the hedge funds. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Sincerely, uh, Lewis. And here is the actual screenshot. Now, like I said, thank you again to Lewis for this. I truly appreciate it. I hope this will give some uh, MetaFam ease that this actually came from the christian levine law group and he saved this here and look at the phone number here guys 713-659-7617 if you go right to christianlevinelaw.com to their webpage that we was here yesterday you can see this is the page we were on yesterday i'm under their contacts and if you get down here it has location phone and fax and email yesterday we confirmed the email here that was used, the fax at christianlemeanlawgroup.com and the phone number here, the local phone number, 713-659-7617. We go back to his call, 713-659-7617. So guys, it's legit. You can see he was on this phone call for 11.30 a.m. for eight minutes. So thank you again, Lewis, for this information. I hope uh, this clears stuff up for people. I think it's legit. Like I said, you can leave your comments down below whether you believe it, don't believe it. But to me, I have to believe it. It seems pretty legit. All right, moving forward here. All right, yes. So we got this tweet here from John Bird. I want to touch base on this and another tweet as well because it's pretty important, actually. Uh, John Bird here says, There is no doubt that this halt has created a massive chill and panic amongst holders. If and when FINRA and the DTC comes up with a solution for MMTLP. In my opinion, some investors will panic and just want out of the trap. Understandably so. Others will sell at their price. Now, he did say their and capital. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Of course, we would love to get more clarity uh, on the situation. We know they got West, Chris, Chris, uh, West Christian and the Christian Living Law Group. We got the flamethrower. We got the share intel. We got everything going on here. Uh, gray market here. Put this picture of this Cornwell here. Uh, Richard Head. Uh, if we delay MMTLP retail, we'll get the press and sell cheap. Ha ha. And John Berta here says, what FINRA did, put their finger on the scale of justice. Someday the truth will come out. And down here, John Berta says, I only work on the facts as I know them. My opinion is they will, but no facts have been given yet by the parties that support my theory. Until then, it's just my opinion. A great picture there from Gray Market uh, on Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Richard Head there, literally. All right. We got an interesting post here. Cromwell Colson, other, otherwise known here as Richard Head. So we went over all his tweets. And I want to go up here. It started here with MMAT News. Now, I don't know what happened, but I did notice the MMAT News. I might have deactivated the account. It says the account doesn't exist. So that is actually really sad that this account either just went deactivated or what happened, but they disappeared. I don't, I don't know. That's kind of sad. But here's all the tweets starting here on February 5th with MMAT News. And he, he spews out of the mouth here. A lot of garbage, but 
I do want to get this recorded for this video in case he would delete these tweets. So I'm going to scroll down and let these tweets set up here. And, you know, there was a, a, a bear out here that did a post talking about how the assets are worth less than a dollar. And the person only had like five or 10 people put a like on it. And the president of the OTC markets put a like on that, you know, bear post. Why would the president and CEO of the OTC markets put a like on that post? That doesn't make any sense to me. But here we go. We're going to get all this here, uh, record it down here so we have it. All right. And also take your screenshots so you have them as well. So we had this post here from John Berta. Answer why they knew six months ahead of time that the shares were going to be halted and NBH would be private. Better question is why they felt so comfortable holding a short position so late in the game. Who knew? Who was talking to Fender? How large is the short? That is a very great couple of questions there, and we'll probably never get the answer to that. But what really gets interested and juicy here is Mama K uh, from Twitter here says, the brokers, SEC and FINRA did know at least in September. I changed my account from margin to cash. This was my maintenance call 10K shares for not allowing my broker to lend my shares. It was programmed in the computer early September. They all worked together to plan this. Now, this person here says they have 10K shares. Here's a screenshot where they did the conversion and it shows negative uh, almost three quarters of a million dollars, guys. A little over three quarters of a million dollars. A lot of money there. And if we scroll down here, and we got some interesting uh, questions here. So John Bowen says, they were valuing your shares around 75 a share. And Mama K said, yes. John Berta replied back today to this and said, what firm? And here we got uh, Mama K says, September 19th to be exact, when that account got switched. And Mama K said it was changed from margin to cash. September 19th is when this happened and it showed a value of $75. Uh, here you can see Tony Market Moose says, hey, Mama K, can you provide more details of the 75 share for MMTLP and which firm this was? Thanks, Tony. Mama K replied back, TD Ameritrade, TD there. I just sent an instant message and uh, apparently Mama K sent this to Tony and Roller Pigeons because Tony here says, thanks, Bird Lady just forwarded it to, forward it to me as well. We'll take a look. So guys, interesting here that TD Ameritrade was showing this back in September of $75 a share. Now we have had this happen on multiple brokerages before. Uh, we had that issue happen in Canada. I believe it was a hundred and some dollars a share, but that was pretty recent. That was a glitch over the weekend. Kind of ironic. That was a glitch when all this was going down. But now we got this situation here of this individual uh, saying that TD Ameritrade was valuing their shares at $75. So, uh, guys, it's going to be exciting times ahead. Just a matter of time. And fingers crossed everything works out. And John Berta and them and the team uh, get us some great news. So, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. Catch you on the next video, guys. Peace.